What is up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Polly C, coming at you with another episode of Carpet Cleaning Guys Vlogs. And you can see in today's film, I'll be using the Swirly 175 floor machine. I am shower feeding with six ounces per gallon of water, simple end cap, which is an encapsulant solution. Zero residue, dries down to a brittle crystal, so we don't have to worry about any wick back. Also has an anti-resoiling agent in it, so it's got a form of protection and a great mild scent for deodorization. Now the pistol trigger sprayer that you see in the tank is full of Go Oxy. And I have that mixed, I believe I put two ounces in that 32 ounce trigger sprayer with uh, warm water and there's various cat pee and dog pee spots and some other organic food spills that I'm pre-treating with the Go Oxy. We're also uh, kind of pre-misting the entryways into the rooms and the traffic going into the bathroom with the Go Oxy while we have it, just a light mist to kind of lubricate the carpet, loosen everything up. You can see it is coming out beautiful. These are a very uh, off-white carpet, more white than off-white. And I believe they are 15 years old, if I'm not mistaken. I do this house every year. Looking good. And what we're going to do on the downstairs, which I don't think I'm going to show in or feature in this episode, but you'll see the after pictures at the very end. There's kind of a olive green uh, carpet in the, in the living room or the family room, I think it is. And there was a spot where the dog peed a lot when she was on vacation. And then the cats tried to remark over the top of the dog's pee. Then the dog would find the cat pee and try to remark his spot. So we got a pretty good situation going there. She did use a Bissell home cleaner spotter and kind of extracted what she could. She did also use uh, Nature's Miracle. And the only product that she used in the spotter was 3% hydrogen peroxide, which is the kind you buy at the drugstore or Walmart in the uh, drug department area, like a dollar a bottle. That's because I've told her don't use Resolve, don't use Folex, don't use Dawn dish soap, just use hydrogen peroxide on any of the urine spots. Her carpets are not wool, they're synthetic. However, you can use 3% peroxide on some wool carpets. And if you'd like to know more about that, I would highly recommend you check out Tommy's channel, which is his YouTube channel is Green Rhino. Carpet cleaning, Green Rhino. I think he also has the Green Rhino Project. Some courses available as well, but he's had a few videos where he talks about using the 3% peroxide on wool carpet. And I have to say, I have tried it and no damage i test it put it on a spot or on a rag lay the rag down put some weight on it to see if there's any color transfer or issues no issues so anyway enough of that the only thing that my client used was hydrogen peroxide and then nature's miracle so what i'm doing today is i'm using the go oxy to help pull up any additional yellowing and then i'll go through and clean it with the simple end cap and then at the end of the job, we mixed some Kaput, which is stabilized CLO2, into a separate trigger sprayer and soaked it down real good so that it will penetrate to the back of the carpeting, possibly somewhat into the padding. And I explained to my client, we're going to groom it all in. It's going to take a little extra time to dry but the Kaput will do its job and take care of any odors and hopefully disguise it enough as far as at the molecular level so that the pets don't come back and try to remark it 
living in the Pacific Northwest as we do, it gets humid out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So after typical rain, the humidity levels are high and you get the urine smell or that ammonia smell from the cat and dog pee and that causes the animal to be attracted and, and kind of remark it. So with the ClO2, that should eliminate that structure at the molecular level. If you want to know more about Kaput or stabilized ClO2, which is chlorine dioxide, check out the link in the description below of all my videos. It'll take you to Damon Williams store, NCAP store in Las Vegas. He sells pretty much all the products that I carry and all the equipment that I carry, about 99% of everything I use. So check it out if you're interested in kind of copycatting or duplicating what I'm doing. The kaput will definitely help with any odors. This trigger sprayer here is again the Go Oxy, which is a stain remover and brightener. It is about a 15% hydrogen peroxide. And what it will do is help remove the stain. And then you can even use it as in topical and just kind of mist over stains if they're organic, meaning urine, coffee, Injury. tea, anything spaghetti sauce, anything organic. And the oxidation process will kind of bleach out all the food and the color and the yellowing in the urine, but it will not affect the synthetic fiber. And on Go Oxy being a higher hydrogen peroxide percentage, mm -hmm. not the lower 3% peroxide that I was talking about earlier sold at the drugstore, which you can gargle with, brush your teeth with. The 15% is not safe for that. If you spray a little on your finger, you'll see it'll bleach the skin out white. All right, there is the hallway looking good. Minus you gotta see past the shadows from the doorway. Here's the master bedroom. This one had a bunch of spots along the center. Came out absolutely beautiful. And again, this one is the, I believe the daughter's room, separate room. It had a bunch of spotting, came out beautiful. This one you saw me clean and it was cutting like butter. Looks beautiful. I love using the rug renovator to put those aesthetic triangles down. Definitely makes a difference when you're done with the job. This was the area that was covered with pet urine on the right side by the fireplace. I'll do one more angle and then I'm out the door. Everything was handled beautifully, should dry up, take care of any odors. Hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you did, be sure and give me a thumbs up. Always leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one.